to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is string matching in an array. So in this question, we are given a string array called words. We have to return all the strings in the words array that is a substring of other word inside the words array itself and we can return the answer in any order. So by definition, a substring is a contiguous sequence of character within a string. So the length of the substring might be equal to or less than the string. So this is the words array given to us which contains four words. The output is as and hero because as is appearing inside mass and hero is appearing inside superhero. So that is why as and hero are returned as the output. So now let's directly take a look at the code and see how this question is solved. It is a basic brute force approach using nested for loops. We have to compare each string with the rest of the strings and it will happen until we reach the end of the array. So now let's take a look at the code inside an ID and see how this question can be solved and later I'll debug the same example with the same code. So this is the function which I've written inside lead code which we are going to submit in the end. So this is the function name and this is the string array words given to us and the return type is a list of strings which will be our output. So let's start off by declaring our result. Our result is going to be a list of strings. And using a nested for loop i and j, the outer for loop will start from 0 until the end of the array and also the inner for loop is going to start from 0 until the end of the words array. Words of i will be stored inside words 1 and words of j will be stored inside words 2. Both of them will be starting with the first word. And of the important part is that we have to check if the length of the current string. So we are going to use the i loop to add elements into our result list. So we are checking if the length of the word 1 that is the i pointer word is greater than the length of the word present at the j pointer. If that is the case, we just continue. We just continue, it means it will skip this and go back for the next loop. So we are going to compare the words of i word only if its length is less than the words of j word. Only then that will be a substring, right? So I'm using the helper function is substring which I've written here. So it will compare two strings, string 1 and string 2. If string 2 is present inside string 1, it means it is a substring. So I'll return true. So I'm checking if string 2 is present inside string 1 using the contains method. If it is containing that string, we return true, else we return false. This is substring function is used as a helper function and I'm calling it inside. So I'm checking if words of j is present inside words of i. Only then I'm adding words of i into the list. And then I'm going to break the loop because I know there is no other word for the same length. And finally outside the for loop I'm going to return the list which will contain our output. Now I'm going to place breakpoints inside our code. So I place two breakpoints and I've taken the same input example 1 and I'm calling the string matching function which will return a list of strings. So I'm storing our output inside a list and printing it. Now let's debug the code step by step. Now here you can see this is the words array and initially the list is empty with size 0. Now i is pointing at 0 and j is also pointing at 0. So word 1 is mass because i is pointing at 0. Word 2 is also mass because j is pointing at 0. Now we are checking if word 1 length is greater than or equal to word 2 length. Both are same so it will enter and continue. So it skipped and now j will be incremented. Now j is 1 i is 0 so word 1 will contain mass and word 2 will contain as. Now we are checking if length of mass is greater than or equal to as. Yes. So we continue. So j will become 2 now. Now j is 2, i is 0, word 1 is mass, word 2 is hero. Now we are checking if the length is greater or equal to. Yes, both are same, they are equal to. So continue. j will become 3. Now word 1 is mass, word 2 is superhero. We are checking if word 1 dot length is greater than or equal to word 2 dot length. No, that's not the case. Only now we are checking if word 1 and word 2 are substrings of each other. So we are checking if word 2 is present inside word 1 inside the is substring method. So it is not since they both are su not substrings, it won't be added into the list. Now we start a new outer for loop. I is 1 now because we compared mass with all the words. I is 1, J is 0, I is as. So word 1 is as, word 2 is mass. Now we are checking if length of as is greater than or equal to length of mass. 2 is not greater than or equal to so it will skip the if statement and now it is checking if word 1 which is as is a substring of mass. Yes it is a substring. So here we are checking mass contains as. Yes so it will return true. So we are entering and now we are adding words of i. Words of i which is words 1 is as so list will contain as now. So here you can see list is now containing as and size of the list has been incremented to 1 and now we break 
we break so that we can start a new outer for loop. Now i is 2, j is 0, word 1 is 0, word 2 is mass, both length are equal so continue. Now i is 2, j is 1, word 1 is 0, word 2 is as, word 1 length is greater than or equal to word 2 so continue. Now i is 2, j is 2, word 1 is 0, word 2 is 0, both lengths are equal so continue. I is 2, J is 3, word 1 is 0, word 2 is superhero. Now word 1 length is less than word 2, so it will skip the first statement. And now we are checking if hero is present inside superhero. Yes, it is present. So add hero into the list. So here you can see the element has been added inside list because size has increased. And here you can confirm that hero has been added to the list. Now you break and come out of the if statement. Now we start a new outer for loop. I is 3, J is 0. Now we are checking if superhero is greater than or equal to mass yes so continue now again we are checking if superhero is greater than or equal to as yes continue we check superhero is greater than or equal to hero yes so continue now we are checking if superhero is greater than or equal to superhero both are same so continue now j will be incremented to 4 so it will skip the loop this condition will fail and now i will also skip the loop because this condition will fail and now we return the list. List contains two words which are has and hero. So I'm calling this string matching inside the main method. So here you can see it has been called and our output is stored inside list. So we're printing the list as the output. So here you can see our output has been printed and our result is as and hero. Now let's run our code inside lead code. There you have it, our test cases are running. Let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n square where n is the length of the words array because we are using nested loops and the space complexity is constant because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. Generally the return type is not counted towards the space complexity. That's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.